Taskmaster. No! Oh my god, it's another Bosch! <laughs> Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm not the Taskmaster. I'm Adam from FWCI. This is Taskmaster Season 9, Episode 3, 5 miles per day. Alright, not even going to hazard a guess. That could be bloody anything. I recently watched the James A. Caster stand-up special. The Cold Lasagna Hate Myself 1999 stand-up special. That'll be going up on the channel. It might already be up by the time this one goes up. Uh, but people mentioned that Rose Matafeo is actually an ex-girlfriend of James's. And I think they talked about them in that thing. I'm pretty sure that she's with Rowan Atkinson now. That's, that's my understanding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go away. Don't you touch your keyboard. Get away from your keyboard. All right, that was a joke. I know that's not her. But like Acaster says in his stand-up, you don't know people, you don't know their story, you don't know anything about them. So yeah, whatever happened with her and James Acaster is their business. And I'm still here for Rose Matafeo, Joe Brand, Ed Gamble, ah, Katie Wicks. Oh my god, Katie Wicks, of course. She's been very low-key. Wow, I couldn't even remember that she was in it. I was most excited for her going in, but yeah, she's got a way different energy than what I was expecting. But I'm, I still enjoy her quirkiness. Join our cult. Join our cult. That was so dumb when I watched it, but that's one of those ones that's kind of stuck with me. If you want early access to my Taskmaster reactions, or if you want full-length versions of Season 9 onwards, patreon.com slash fwci is where you can get it for $5 redos. So uh, yeah, Season 9 onwards, the full-length versions will be going up on Patreon and staying there as well. So whatever time you tune in, you can go back and start watching these seasons in their entirety on Patreon if you feel like it. But let's jump into the episode. This is Taskmaster. Season 9, episode 3, 5 miles per day. All about having the weirdest wooden thing. <laughs> That's what you call me, and I like it. So <laughs> it's true. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck is weird and wooden? Besides little Alex Horn! My weird wooden thing would be these Russian dolls, which I'll just have to add in to the edit at a later point. But I'm sure they're very weird. Oh. Ugh, look at this weird shit. Yikes. Are you sure you want to part with this, Ed Gamble? It's a Chagata demon, but the hair and teeth you see there are human. Lovely. Doesn't You don't need to be dead. You can have a little haircut. But did your dad kill someone? <laughs> it's the thing that my daughter made in year seven. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> What's she now? She's in her mid-30s, isn't she? How dare you? It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit older than that, I'm guessing. 61! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, Gambles is way weirder. Weird, isn't it? It came all the way from Colorado. I reckon he's someone looking for treasure. His soul has been captured in a carving. Yep. Your classic story. <laughs> uh... <laughs> My brother spent ages and ages creating something uh, as an ornament on our shelves for many years, uh, and this was it. There it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's absolutely shit, it's I It's so think. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yeah. <laughs> Dad um, imports them. He's always like showing them to me and. Oh, and is he? Like that. <laughs> that doesn't sound good there, Katie. What's RRP on this? I mean, I didn't ask money. I just wanted to get out of there, okay. if I'm honest. <laughs> 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 he actually offered to buy me a motorbike once. It's quite a weird relationship. That is a weird thing to offer to do for a younger lady. I think that Joe's daughter will have progressed since she made that in life. Well, how cruel, because she hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> So it's three points because it was too weird for a weird task. Oh, good point. Something about your tone I didn't enjoy. <laughs> stick in the I'm gonna leave you exactly where you are. A lot separating the other two. The stick in the dick. The stick in the dick. <laughs> Hang on, how is the stick this high up? I just feel sorry for David's brother. You know, he deserves... That is some shady score distribution there. 
Greg. That really is. That's dodgy as. A little walk. Whoops. 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 You're looking really nice. Thank you. You're looking really nice. Why is Alex saying the exact same series of words to every single person? Your task. You should open it as soon as I leave the room. Is he okay? What? <laughs> must enter the caravan within two minutes of Alex entering the caravan. But do I take anything? No. Has <laughs> he entered it now then? <laughs> Joe, get a wriggle on. Wow. Do you want to open the task, right? No. Oh, no. What, what do you now have that much List time to do? all the things that were hanging from the wooden board in the lab. Also, say the colour of the wooden board in the lab. There was an egg. There was a salt shaker. There was a, um, a, a a water pistol. The thing was like a purplish color. Um, there was a, a snooker ball, I think, like a billiards ball. Um, that's all I got. Also, say what Alex said to you in the lab. Most correct answers were. Fucking hell! Whoops! I remember that much. Oh my god. My script answer is you have three minutes, you may not leave the caravan. I can't wait to see Joe's attempt on this. <laughs> she hasn't even gone into the fucking caravan. She's just gonna bail on the whole thing. <laughs> is that the two younger people, Ed and Rose, just run. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Joe simply couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> well, it's a sort of memory test. I I'd, um, I'd hung, I'd hung some stuff from the um, I hung some stuff from the ceiling as well, and then they'd come. Oh, are we getting into another game of gay chicken. What do you think? <laughs> Wild Rose and a Joe Brand, who was last seen pacing about outside the caravan. Plane. There was a bit like a water pistol. Fuck. Why didn't I? You okay, Rose? No! <laughs> Are you coming in? <laughs> oh, hi, Joe. Haven't got an effing clue. <laughs> Blue? What about this board? What colour? Blue. Blue? Do you know the colour of the board? What board? <laughs> Hello, Ed, he said. Not gonna make the Sherlock Holmes Society, am I? No, you definitely. <laughs> Very clever. Definitely are not. So you legged it out of the lab immediately. Oh, yeah, that's right, I did. And I you got in there. That's why you were pacing around oh. like a tiger outside. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Minute 57. <laughs> so you would have had five points mm. if that was the game. <laughs> <laughs> You also guessed a hat, mine camp for Yeti. <laughs> mine <Yeah>. camp. <laughs> it's an important read for anyone that's interested in democracy. <laughs> okay, I'll take your word on that, there, Joe. So she managed to remember there was a rope, and that I said welcome to the manor. Because I love Cluedo. You're yeah. the only person who spotted. They were all to do with Cluedo. Ah. Oh, mustard plum. Um, so he got four things right. So four he's things. So far in the lead. Oh, yeah. that. That's very very clever, little Alex Horn. I like that. What's with the salt shaker, though? Is that Miss White? Yeah, the rope. Okay. I don't know who the egg is. I remember I have to memorise these. <gasps> Katie Wicks. Katie Wicks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dave Burdill. Dave Burdill. <laughs> um, rope tied up. There was a plastic gun. There was a peacock feather. And there was a pen knife. It's peacock. An empty point. salt cellar. A gun. I'm impressed with both of these. But now they're going to have to remember the words. And they're going to be like, shit. I, I didn't take it in. That's the headline. Uh. I didn't take it in, she says. Yeah, okay. You're doing all right as far as I can see. I want to say lobster, skull, mm. pineapple. But oh, you are those, saying them. Those are, those are the <laughs> Katie. Thanks. Yeah, I'm impressed with Katie Wicks in this one. She really, really did a good job. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Rose doesn't look like she's dealing well with that little <laughs> revelation. <laughs>
I didn't know whether he was memorising them or whether he was genuinely baffled by the movement. <laughs> Then it was Rose, then Ed, then David. Katie only didn't get Colonel Mustard or Professor Plum, and she gets the full five points. Katie. Well done, Katie Wicks. Is she going to intellect her way to a victory this season? Is that why she's got the hard hat? She's going to protect that big, juicy brain of hers? Build the most robust statue of the most delicate thing. Using the materials provided. and The most robust statue of the most delicate thing. Must be recognisable on the Red Cross an hour after you finish. And should leave you feeling enormously proud of your creation. <laughs> uh oh. Hear that, Joe? Enormously proud. Being whether I can convince him that I'm delicate. <laughs> Is she going to make a statue? Like, um... There have been times in my life when it's been delicate, my ego. It looked like. Oh yeah. no, it's on the fucking thing! <laughs> no! I nailed it to the damn table! <laughs> Come on. You got this. You got this. I think so. There you go. Alright. These are robust, I guess. How do you feel about your creation? Yeah, it's okay. Proud. Oh, sorry. Anor I'm feeling enormously proud of my creation. There you go. A, a youth camp, and for some reason, uh, if you wanted to get off with a girl, you had this slightly formal thing you had to do, which was to say to them, will you go with me? Yeah. Did you grow up in 1920s Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> Would you go with me? <laughs> it's 15-year-old day yeah. of the pale. <laughs> do you like poetry? Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to bang out a poem for you. Yeah. But I'll have a go. There we go. I'm going to miss out some of the words because I can't remember them. That's OK. <laughs> and that's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see why people in the comments love Joe so much. Is it supposed to be? The leaf. Oh, what a beautiful leaf. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you using the Taskmaster's voice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Before the break, we saw some lovely, very personal sculptures. Do you want to see how they looked after an hour? Yeah, and then I want to, you to go with me. <laughs> <laughs> they have to steamroller. That's why he was in a steamroller at the beginning. <gasps> All right, let's go. Understand the rules? Yeah, I've got to score a goal. And is there a goalie? Yeah, sort of goalie. Oh, it's a goalie. <laughs> oh, good work, Rose. You made it way more difficult for yourself than you needed to. <laughs> Come on, Katie Wicks. You've got the hat for this. You've got the high vis. You should be killing this. Oh, good work. Come on. Of course she runs over him. You should have said yes. <laughs> it's a nice clean cut. Lovely. And she, her art ended up being better as a result of it. Good work. Katie Wicks, she's having an episode. Not an episode. <laughs> she's having a good episode of Taskmaster Season 9. That's how 1920s David Baddiel would have, like, dispatched of Avril as well. <laughs> he was like, if you don't go out with me, you're going to find yourself on the underside of a roller, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers of pancake, see? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a miraculous slice of the thing, and you were one of the quickest driving the Amazing. thing. Amazing. I didn't know that happened. Yeah, you're good at Katie Wicks, you know it. Slowest, he took 15 minutes and 20 seconds. He was travelling at five miles per day. <laughs> Do you want to see why we've kept Ed till last? Oh no. Yeah. Ed, Ed. Oh yeah, we didn't even know what he's constructed. Oh my god. He's making a baby again? It's just a general broadcast question. Is it weird if I do the baby's nipples? <laughs> Ed, please have a seat. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's having a great time, but. That's a squish a baby, Ed. <laughs> I think we all know what's going to happen now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a little bit.
a protector, but uh, he's he's gone. Rest in peace, baby. Good goal, Ed. <laughs> if I'd known in advance, I, I wouldn't have made a baby. <laughs> I like Ed Gamble. I just like his humour and how badly he fucks himself up. Yeah. Oh, I put it on the board for stability. He's crucified. And he's crucified. <laughs> That's a good point. He's clearly crucified. And then you mimed its crucifixion. <laughs> Despite it being one of the worst things ever made on nine series of yeah. this show, Rose's thing was robust and intact, so I'm going to give her four points. Fair enough. Well done, well done. Well done, Rose Matafeo. Whoa! What? <laughs> this isn't sneaky. Break something into the most parts and completely fix it. Oh, that's... Oh, that's interesting. Three minutes to break it, seven minutes to fix it. Jigsaw puzzle. I feel pretty broken, but I don't think I could fix myself that in seven minutes. <laughs> yes, I've got a car here. Shall I have a go at your engine? What? Katie <laughs> breaking our heart. Ed like a moronic child going, I'm going to take an engine to fix this. <laughs> Ed Joe Katie. No. Educate. Educate. Oh, Alex. Of chocolate. So that's possible. And you can just break it into like loads of pieces. That's a pretty good idea, to be honest. And how to push grapes back onto the stalk. No one's ever had to do that. Oh yeah, what are you doing, Ed? Go fuck that engine up already. Actually, you could have just broken a jigsaw up, couldn't you? I was thinking the same thing. Why have you done it like this, Ed? You absolute asshole. <laughs> and that is just a jigsaw. I've made a chocolate jigsaw. Seven minutes to completely fix your slice of bread. Brilliant. Starting now. I don't know how I've managed that. <clears throat> Why are you using sticky tape there, Joe? Oh, I guess it could work. It's pretty flat on the back. Oh, oh my God. The glue's not even been coming out. I've been injecting grapes with nothing. This is in the kitchen. Hey, uh, <laughs> what are you even making now? Please stop fixing your slice of bread. Yeah, I don't know about Katie's though. Mm. Repaired the chocolate using sellotape. Yeah, and didn't fucking eat it. <laughs> Whoa, I wasn't accused of it. The thing for me, mm. just got on with it like a quiet nerdy fuckwit. <laughs> was in one piece back yeah. together at the end you wouldn't be able to pick that bread up would you i think so with a spatula <laughs> <laughs> was the crust in the middle of the bread yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> lost my mind <laughs> you broke into 65 pieces or something yeah and it ended up as 65 pieces covered in glue <laughs> fuck was that little Alex one <laughs> cut it up so I'm breaking it into the most parts but then tying it together again so I'm actually really am fixing it aren't I mm, that's a pretty good idea I've been nominated oh. for numerous awards but I've never actually won one so this is just a big cathartic award smashing ceremony for you is it Dave please be careful <laughs> Dave Bedil, you should never, ever try and use a sledgehammer, my friend. We got any lighter fuel? Lighter fuel? Yeah. We got a match. What are you doing? This is not going to break this award. <laughs> we got a pen. What sort of pen? That's a hell of a task you got there, Rose. Just says broad ass now. <laughs> yeah. Do you, want, do you want a broad ass award? Is it a compliment? Are you going to what? put it back to how it was completely? Or? What do you mean? Oh. oh, Alex, why did you wait till now? Oh, I, okay. That's, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Rose. Rose did pretty good. Rose did pretty good. But I think Joe might have won it. Well, I thought it might melt and then be easier to oh, smash yeah. into pieces. You thought the lights were filled with God, it really? Something. What are you talking about, man? Tying it back together again and think, nah, she, see she seems quite boring to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get points off for being boring, am I? Feels like it. 
Obviously, Ed lost his mind. He gets one point. OK. David <laughs> didn't break anything. He gets two points. Right. Uh, Katie, you reformed the bread, but you wouldn't be able to pick it up, so I'm only going to give... Joe. Joe's going to win this. Tick, tick, tick. Five points. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, I agree. She did great. Good work, Joe. See what happens when you knuckle down like a nerdy fuckwit? Wearing your blindfold correctly at all times, fill a pint glass with water. If you make a big mess, you are disqualified. Is this water? I feel like I'm in a terrible Slipknot tribute act. <laughs> How'd you get the... Oh, the lid. Oh, yeah, it's not water. Not, well, not all of it. <laughs> oh, that was an egg. Okay, I'm gonna drink some of this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> that is Marmite. If you make a big mess, you will be disqualified. Oh, it doesn't say a big mess on your table. Yeah, don't be throwing shit. Drink the okay. sand. That's not, that's not water. What the heck is that? Oh yeah, what the fuck was that? Why are your teeth black? Who is killing it? Is it Katie Wicks? Well, top up the points. Well, that was the final score. Was it Ed that got the, uh, that did really well? Tot up the points, Tasky. Who amazingly put the same amount of water and vinegar in theirs. <laughs> Ed is very nearly a pint. Lovely. He also put... So how did they manage to do that? Cheating? Looking at down the bottom of their blindfold? Ah. And then Joe, water, egg, vinegar and two jars of cotton wool. <laughs> five points. OK, five points. Right, double. Ed. Katie is pure water. David and Rose is ten parts water, one part vinegar. Right, OK. Well, we have to recognise pure water. Mm. Yes, I agree. Katie in second place. I've got Katie in second place. I'll give you the final scoreboard of this episode. Yes! OK, well, Joe did end up on last place with 15, and the winner of this episode with 23 points was Katie Wick. Yeah, she had a good episode. She had a really good performance in all of the tasks. Well done, Katie Wicks. After the beginning of this video, I was like, hey, Katie Wicks is the one that I haven't really been vibing with. I loved her in this episode. She was great. Katie. Oh, now she's gonna kiss all these horrible, weird wooden things. That was a good episode. Uh, Joe Brand. I'm loving her apathy towards the season. And it doesn't come across as like snobby or anything because she's just. She's still like lethally hilarious. Is that a word? Lethally? She's still very hilarious. And uh, everything she says, whether she's participating in the tasks or not she adds so much to this show she's she's great but katie wicks she doesn't have this like loud personality but she's very very uh what's the word i'm looking for cerebral about how she approaches these challenges in the show let's talk about the tasks we had the weird um wooden task that was uh, interesting way to just word that uh you could, that could really be anything, and they, there were some pretty good entrances in there. I mean, <laughs> Katie Wicks with a giant wooden dick, but uh, that had a very, very dodgy outcome with in terms of the scores. With um, uh, what's her name? Uh, no, Ed Gamble. He he probably should have won that one. I did like the one where they had to memorize the objects and re and memorize all the stuff that Alex said, especially because a couple of them picked up on it, and we got a bit of variety in terms of how they approached it. Not Rose Matafeo, she immediately just legged it out of the room as far- She nearly beat Alex into the caravan, she was that quick. But that's like a good natured Taskmaster kind of, um, challenge. Uh, the art one, that was a- there was a lot of moving pieces with that. They had to score a goal with a steamroller while their art piece was <laughs> serving as the goalie. We got some weird stuff with that one. I don't know if that one really got me as much as some of the others did on this episode, but I did enjoy it, especially um, Ed Gamble's attempt at the end. I don't know what David Bedil was thinking in the task about break something and then put it back together. Like, I don't know what that was all about. He was working something out in, in his system, I feel like, because that was a terrible attempt, but he got to beat the shit out of somebody else's award that he's never won. So I guess that was a good idea. Um, Joe sneaking through with the win on that was uh, nice to see as well, but yeah, that was a bit of a tough one there. I might have gone with the jigsaw puzzle, but I feel like 
Greg would have been like, well, it wasn't broken or something like that. So I don't know. And a very interesting one at the end there with the uh, fill up the thing with nothing but water. Uh, it was, again, interesting to see Joe Brand completely phone it in. And she's just like, yep, yeah, cotton wool, yep, yeah, egg, vinegar, whatever. I don't care. It is a bit suspicious that um, Rose and uh, what's his name? What's his name? Gambit. Gambit? Gamble. It is a bit weird that the two of them had vinegar and water in there. That makes me think that they could maybe see down underneath their um, their thing. Even Gamble was like, oh, I have my eyes closed, the whole thing. I don't know. I reckon they might have been able to see down. Because that's a very um, unusual mistake for them to make if they're sniffing it first, you know? But overall, I enjoyed this one. Congratulations to Katie Wicks for getting the dub. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash FWCI if you want to see my full-length uh, version reaction to this episode. And make sure you subscribe here on YouTube as well for plenty of other Taskmaster-adjacent content coming out in the future. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace. He's the Taskmaster. Beating my heart faster Took it with the either, with the either, we here He's the taskmaster Beating my heart faster With the, with the either, with the either, we here